Christmas just got a little cheerier for federal politicians. An independent tribunal has awarded them pay rises ranging from $45,000 to more than $100,000 for the Prime Minister. They won't get the money until next year and they will have to give up some benefits as part of the package. Chief political correspondent Mark Simpkin reports. Tis the season for giving and receiving. Junior ministers like Kate Ellis are in line for a $70,000 Christmas bonus. If we're honest about it, there are a lot of people out there across Australia that would prefer politicians not to be paid at all. No chance of that. The remuneration tribunals decided backbenchers deserve $185,000 a year, a $45,000 increase. This is an appropriate level for a backbencher salary. Um, it's necessary to have a salary uh, sufficient to attract and retain people of capacity. The Prime Minister will earn 480000 That's a pay rise of 30%, taking Julia Gillard's official salary above Barack Obama's, although both are dwarfed by pay packages in the private sector. In the public sphere, top bureaucrats will get pay rises worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. By 2014, the head of the Prime Minister's department will be earning $825,000. Some massive increases at a time the government is cutting public service jobs so that the budget can stay in the black. The opposition leader's salary will rise to $340,000. Have you got any comment on that? Do politicians deserve a pay rise? We've had asylum seekers arriving on Christmas Island. Watch out, we're going to have trouble. Watch, 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 watch. watch. Future MPs will lose perks like the Gold Pass, which entitles former politicians to 25 free trips a year for life. This will become a museum piece. Taxpayer-funded study tours will also be axed. You won't again have members of parliament going on overseas study tours to look at winemaking in Latin American countries. The changes won't come into effect straight away. Parliament will need to pass legislation first. It's likely to be a rare bipartisan moment. The feeling here is politicians are overworked and underpaid, although many regular wage earners think it's the other way around. Oh, poor buggers, they really do need more, I don't think. Where's mine? I work harder than they do, I reckon. Even the tribunal concedes there's never a good time for a political pay rise. Mark Simpkin, ABC News, Canberra.